Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If I look like I am glowing today, it's because I'm trying to film under this window. We have an abnormally hot day in Ireland and it's the hottest day so far and I am sweating making this video. So that is not highlight, that is sweat. In today's video, I am turning some Ikea rugs into big, huge pillows. So ideally, I am making these for my garden, but I'm after making a little den here beside me and I have loads of pillows and I'm half tempted to open that window and just have a little nap here. So I took some rugs from Ikea. Um, so I wanted to make kind of like beanie bag, big pillows for the garden because next um, bank holiday, June bank holiday, I wanna have a little festival style party in my garden. So I'm gonna start making some of the stuff for that garden party. And one of the things I wanted was some big cozy cushions um, for people to sit on. So I was like, I don't want to spend a fortune on new cushions. Um, I want something that's going to be like garden friendly. So I think I was watching like cushion videos on YouTube. Then when I was in Ikea, I found some rugs and I was like, I think I can turn them into big, giant, garden friendly pillows. So before I melt a little more, let's get into the video. For this DIY, you are going to need some rugs and I picked mine up from Ikea. Some of these were six euro and then one of them was two euro fifty. I also picked up a backing fabric which was two euro fifty a meter. This is like a calico style fabric and you'll get this in Ikea as well. For the filler for my pillows, I am actually using some pillows. So I picked these up in Ikea. You're also gonna need your trusty sew machine for this project too. You are gonna start by measuring up the backing fabric to your rug. Roughly measure it to size and once you are happy, cut it. You can also iron your fabric before use, which I didn't do in this video, but I should have. You are now going to pin the backing fabric onto the rug. Make sure to use plenty of pins for this. Mine were a little bit blunt, so I do recommend using a nice fresh sharp pack of pins. And you only have to pin the two side pieces. If you have any excess fabric when you flip the rug over, you can go ahead and trim this to size. You are now going to stitch both sides of your rug. Now, this is a thicker fabric, so make sure to use a fresh, sharp needle on this. And then just do a stitch straight the way down, but just make sure you do a reverse stitch at the start and at the finish. You are now going to turn it inside out or right way out, whatever you want to call it. We are now going to seal the bottom end of the pillow, so folding over the backing fabric into like a hem, you can now pin it and we are going to take it to the machine and then we're going to stitch this closed. So now for the fun part, we are now going to stuff these big pillows. I used two pillows to stuff each pillow, if that makes sense. So one just wasn't enough and it wasn't firm enough, so I stuffed them with two. These pillows are four euro each in Ikea. You are now going to hem the back of this so just like what we did with the other side, you are going to fold the backing fabric over, make sure to use lots of pins and then you are going to stitch this closed over at the machine.
whether you want to build a den in your bedroom like me and Blondie or you want to have them out in the garden, have fun styling your new big pillows. So that is how I made my pillows. Um, I hope you found it easy enough to follow. I will also have a blog post where I'll share more pictures because um, I know sometimes people find it easier to follow a blog post and sometimes people find it easier to follow a video. I also have an envelope cushion making video if you want to check that out. Um, so if you want to make like a smaller size of these and you want to make them for your house, I have an easy envelope fold cushion DIY video. I'll pop it at the end of this video and um, I'll link it below as well. As always, please tag me in your pictures on Instagram if you do give this a shot at making. I love sharing my faves on Insta stories. Also, if you want to just have the chats, your best to just DM me on Instagram as well. I'll pop my handle here. And as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye everyone. Oh, I am sweating after that. I actually think I'm stuck to this floor. Oh, I'm all my legs. <laughs>